Formula One has had countless teams join the grid and taste success. Many of them have been embedded into the motorsports history. Today I'll be talking about a team that had that impact on this sport, Tyrrell F1 team. In this upcoming video, we'll talk about Team Tyrrell's career in this motorsport. So let's discuss what happened to Tyrrell F1 team. This F1 team was founded by Ken Tyrrell and raced other teams' cars in the very late 50s and 1960s in the lower formulas. In 1968, Ken Tyrrell achieved his dream by moving to Formula One and becoming team principal of Matra. This would be a joint venture established between Tyrrell's private team and the manufacturer Matra. Jackie Stewart, who was racing for the team, drove to three different victories during the 68 season, and he drove in the Tyrrell run Matra MS-10. For 1969, the Matra works team decided to pull out of F1, and instead they would focus all efforts on the Tyrrell team. Stewart won the 1969 title easily, driving the Matra MS-80. This was an incredible achievement for both Tyrrell and Matra who had both entered in F1 in the previous year. For 1970, Tyrrell decided to use a March 701 chassis and build their own cars. At the end of 1970, the team released their first car, the Tyrrell 001. In 1971, they won the Drivers and Constructors Championship with the all-new Tyrrell 003. This was a huge achievement for the team, as they won both championships in 71. I hope you're enjoying the video so far, and if you want to see more content like this, take this moment to subscribe to the channel. This would really help me out. Alright, so let's head back into the video. In 1973, Jackie Stewart would win his third world title driving the 005 and the 006, but they would lose the Constructors' Championship to Lotus that year. At the end of 1973, Jackie Stewart would announce that he would retire from Formula One. With their star driver retiring from the sport, unfortunately, Tyrrell would never return to championship winning ways. Despite this, Tyrrell would continue to fight for overall victories in future F1 races. In 1976, Tyrrell unveiled a striking new car, the Tyrrell P34. It was the only successful six-wheeled F1 car. This car was so different to any other Formula One car. It was the only six-wheeled car to have four wheels at the front. All the rest of them had them at the back. And it was the only car that had six wheels that won a Grand Prix. And the Grand Prix they won, they finished first and second. Coming into the 1980s, things were very different. The turbocharged engines were now coming into play, and other teams started rising through the field like Williams and McLaren. Tyrrell's performances started to drop off, and in 1983, they picked up their final victory at the Detroit Grand Prix. For the 1984 season, things got a little controversial because Tyrrell were disqualified from the 84 championship and were disqualified from all the races that year. This was due to a violation of the rules concerning fuel. As we head into the 1990s, Tyrrell F1 team struggled during this period, but there were some breakthrough moments. Because of the Tyrrell 019, and Alacy's full-time debut brought the team two second places in Phoenix and Monaco. Unfortunately, the team slowly dropped back from the middle of the pack. Tyrrell's final F1 points were scored by Mika Salo at the 1997 Monaco Grand Prix. Eventually, at the end of the 1997 season, Ken Tyrrell sold his team to British American Racing. Finally, in 1998, Tyrrell made their final appearance under the Tyrrell name at the 1998 Japanese Grand Prix. While the Tyrrell name was no longer in Formula 1, the team was. BAR would run the team all the way up until 2005, and their best finish as a constructor would come in 2004, finishing second in the championship. In 2006, the team would be renamed to Honda, and would run that name for the next three years. After Honda left F1 at the end of 2008, 
it got renamed to Braun GP. And that story is legendary, where we thought Braun was going to be towards the back of the grid, where they started off the season finishing 1-2 and finishing first in both championships in 2009. But for 2010, the team was renamed to Mercedes AMG Patronus. From 2014 onwards, Mercedes would win nine constructors championships in a row, which would make them the most successful constructor in the turbo hybrid era. While Tyrrell wasn't able to grab multiple championships like other manufacturers in Formula One, they were able to give Formula One some incredible race cars like the six-wheeled P34 which raced in the late 70s. Tyrrell was a phenomenal race team, and they'll always be a part of the Formula One history books. So that's what happened to Tyrrell F1 team. I would like to know your thoughts on Team Tyrrell's career in F1. Let me know down in the comments. And if you would like to see another team's history reviewed, let me know down in the comments which team you would like to see. Thank you for watching, and until next time, peace out.